Radioactivity. Is it dangerous? Can I eat it? Can I become a superhero? If the Hulk is so radioactive, why do I never see him in the lab? All this and more. <laughs> Amma, why don't you start us off? Firstly, what is ionizing radiation? Well, it consists of subatomic particles or electromagnetic waves that have sufficient energy to ionize atoms or molecules by detaching electrons from them. Also, the energy of a wave is inversely proportional to its wavelength. As gamma rays and some X-rays have a short wavelength, they possess enough energy to become ionizing. The other types of electromagnetic radiation are considered as non-ionizing as they don't have enough energy, long wavelengths. Oh, and all nuclear radiation is considered as ionizing. Why don't you explain this one, Liam? Sure. So, there are three different types of radiation. Alpha, beta, and gamma. Alphas are like bowling balls, slow and heavy, coming to rest and losing energy by multiple collisions. However, bases are like rifle bullets, fast and light, so there's fewer interactions generally. And gammas are like laser beams, basically going straight through them all. Alpha radiation has the most ionizing power. Ionizing power is basically the better a particle can knock electrons out of its atom, the more ionizing it is. Alpha particles are significantly heavier than base particles. Plus, they have more energy to pass on to damage atoms and molecules they interact with. Also, Alpha have a high magnitude of high magnitude of charge, beta can work. So, the electrostatic force of attraction is greater than beta's electrostatic force of repulsion. As gamma particles are electromagnetic waves and do not possess any charge, they must exert a contact force on an electron to capture it. Alpha and beta can alter free electrons apart using their non-contact electrostatic forces. Because alpha liberates more electrons, leading to ionization, and beta and gamma, it loses more of its energy in allowing these electrons to excite. Gamma rays do not interact with electrons as frequently, thus they lose less of its energy. Or a quick analogy of what this really means. So, if you're given three pills, and each emits alpha, beta or gamma, and you have to swallow one, hold one in your hand and put one in your pocket, what is the best way to do this? Well, you should really swallow gamma, because it has high penetration and you cannot really protect yourself from it, no matter what, so it will leave your body anyway. You put beta in your pocket, because the fabric of your clothes and your skin will probably reduce the radiation. Well, it would be very hazardous if it actually got inside you. But you keep alpha in your hands, because it just sucks in penetrating dead skin cells on, on your skin and cannot really do a thing that would be hazardous in this situation. But, if you ingested it, it would be incredibly bad for your health. Well, finally, radioactive dating is a method of dating rocks and minerals using radioactive isotopes. Radioactive decay is a natural process and comes from the atomic nucleus becoming unstable. These are released as radioactive particles. This decay process leads to a more balanced nucleus and when the number of protons and neutrons balance, the atom becomes stable. This radioactivity can be used for dating, since a radioactive parent element decays into a stable daughter element at a constant rate. The rate of decay is the fraction of the parent atoms that decay in unit time. And that's all. We hope you enjoyed. And now, you know the dangers and uses of radiation. Zion!